All right. So earlier I had mentioned Kel Mitchell and how, you know, R. Kelly's name was attached to it because Kel Mitchell's birthday is 825 and R. Kelly, obviously Kel's. So then they have this new, you know, TMZ. Oh, Tasha K. So we're looking at birthdays. One eight is R. Kelly's birthday. Eleven eight, he was in the hospital. Okay, his birthday day twenty five. Aaliyah's birthday. Tasha K's birthday is three ten, and that would be three ten is the day that um Harry Tubman passed away. It's the day that um Barack Obama's special a chef passed away in the water. Um three ten is also anagram of one three because that's January 3rd. So when you're looking at these birthdays, I was going backwards and forwards. So this is an energy they're trying to speak in the astral realm to people who can understand. So you mentioned Lance Solomon Reddick. So the new cycle is all about Tamar and the fight that she had over with um, Christian Rock. Christian's last name is Malone. So think Post Malone, seven four Falling Fathers. Think um, Christian Rock and The Rock and his skin, NS NSL. Um, Saturday Night Live, where he talks about robots doing things to the children. So, um, Solomon Riddick 317 was his portal. So, whenever you see that thing, 317 reverse curse is 731 or 713. So, it goes into like Angus Cloud. Angus Cloud had the red hair. It looks like the last avatar. So, it's a lot going on. But, yes, absolutely, with the Lance Reddick and the John Wick 4. And I've been posting about Neo, a.k.a. Keanu Reeves. Birthday is 9-2, which is 29, which is Black and Gematria. So, all these things is like if you are keeping up with the Gematria numerology and the birthdays, then you'll be able to keep up with all that. And if you know about history, if you know about the different playbooks, like we're playing a football game. And one of the football games, coach playbooks is a Bible, a Quran, Buddhism, Hinduism. They all have their own way to go about things. The more you know about their playbooks, the more you know about how they're speaking in spiritual realm or how they're putting things out on the media for us to subconsciously absorb. But if you're conscious, like my girl right here, she conscious, then you would see the codes that I'm putting out there. Even if I don't talk, if you're conscious, you would have been already picking up on these frequencies. When I just posted the, the um, video about Teresa Caputo being second medium born June 10th, and then you have this guy right here being born June 14th, so they have energy the same. So when he wants to tap into the Long Island casualty event, like hypothetically you could, when you go to these Gilligan Islands, like um, his, uh, his sister just passed away, Marianne, the Gilligan Skippers Island, Okay, when you go to these islands, it's not just about, oh, what's going on there. There is a lot of psychological things going on there. A lot of time harping, astral traveling, neuroscience, Sophia robot. They are using all these. So it's better to know things like how she posted the connection she knew because it all connects. Okay, we're on one consciousness. When you're dreaming, that consciousness is seen. When you're awake, some of us are tapped into Gematria. Some of us see ghosts. Some of us clairvoyant, clear audiences. So if you could connect history, the different playbooks, the media, you could see the whole picture of what's happening and then you stay out of what's happening, keep your family safe. The point is to live your best life, but also be aware that people are trying to make you not live your best life because their dream ends when your dream begins sometime. So Krishan Rock's birthday is March 14th, um, 722 Mary Magdalene, divide 22 by 7 is 314. So whenever you see news, just look into their birthdays, figure out if what you know about Fibonacci so you can do some Matthew, some Gematria. Bring in all the playbooks. The Bible is a playbook for your football team. So say you're playing the Patriots tonight and you are the Colts. I don't even know about football, but is there, an, is there a team named the Colts? So the Colts against the Patriots. Imagine the Bible is the Patriots playbook and you're the Colts. You know how to play football. You know the game. You know the rules. But you're also playing against the you know Patriots. So you get the Bible. And you learn their playbook. So, I'll say you're playing again. The cult's playbook is the Quran. So the, you better believe you read in the Quran. Read whatever history books, lessons, numerology. Numbers is in every language, though. So the, the numerology book will probably win over most things. Names, numbers, places are very good. That's the book to play by. It doesn't include any religion. Name, numbers, religion. Name, numbers, birthdays. So, but adding the playbooks, like a religious and um, you know idea right here, like... Then you know why these people are ritualistically taken out because their name means something. So when you take out Solomon, first of all, Lance Solomon played in John Wick 4. What happened John Wick 4? Immediately he passed away. What happened on the premiere of John Wick 4 when he was at home? He passed away. So there is energy, your energetic system, you know, they, your, your heart chakra, like that's very like if you ever watch Once Upon a Time, they have, um, they're always going for the heart. The queen's always going for the heart. There's heart attacks. Something always going on with the heart. And then you health. We don't own healthcare as a poor people. So healthcare is owned by people who do ritualistic things. So hospitals, they know how sick you are, what's wrong with you. They'll see your heart have a whole heart problem, not say nothing. 
because they're probably remote viewing and want you to hypothetically speaking, right? That could be a thing, you know? So it's just be aware, be aware, but don't be weird. Don't be scary. Be wary. Understand what's going on. Connect the dots like my homegirl connected right here. A lot of this energy is coming from Kentucky, the Riddler, and the Tucker. That's why they have the carpet Tucker. Okay, Chris Tucker. They have the Tucker. The Riddler is red here. Green, that goes for May, for Isis, for energy of May, if you're a Taurus. Okay, the Riddler. The Riddler. If you can't fit out, figure out the riddles, then when you go to sleep tonight, you're going to be just like, dang, I can't get past a certain part of my life. Because the riddles, you don't know how to solve them. But once you solve all the riddles, once you figure it out subconsciously, like this girl right here, Melanie Magic 93, she'd be solving all the riddles. There's many of you out here solving. She's not the only one. There's hella people solving riddles. Our team is getting way bigger.